Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today, this is my third take on how to make, solve a Rubik's Cube 3x3. Three three. So the reason why it's my third is because my first video, uh, and this video is turning out to be really bright, you see, you see that? What might I do is put something back there. Um, I am a genius. Check it. There we go. Move the camera back a little bit. There we go. Right, so like I said, this is now my third take, and this is one of my hi-fi speakers, by the way. Third take on solving a Rubik's Cube. Because not it's not because I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube, clearly I do. Um, firstly, uh, the video didn't have enough information, and secondly, the video, the, the Rubik's Cube was up here while I was solving it. So hopefully it's down here while I'm solving it, it feels more comfortable down here, actually. So, what I want to do is mix up the cube, because it's solved. And really, that doesn't help you guys because then you guys don't know anything. Because then I'm just solving it for you. Which just isn't good. Alright, so we now have a mixed up cube. The crucial thing to know about a cube is the centerpieces. Centerpieces are fixed, which means that the orange is always going to be on this side, the yellow is always going to be on that side. Now, next thing you want to know is we work sort of going from in out and in levels. So we work for the center, we solve these edge pieces, and we solve the corner pieces, and then we solve the layers afterwards. Right? Now, next thing you want to know is to solve move that way, solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube or to solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube. This is known as the Revenge, this is known as the Professor. You must already know how to solve a 3x3. So this is a good tutorial for you guys to know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. So, let's get to it. First thing first, you've got to choose a side. I choose green and blue because to me those are the two colours that stand out the most, in my opinion. And plus because I learned to solve Rubik's Cube using those two colours. Some people, like Rob, who if you took up his name, his name if I just shout out to him quickly, because uh, I know... Rob H0629, look him up, he does amazing tutorial videos. Shout out to him for doing a wonderful job. He's doing a great job. He's done 3x3s and a 4x4 and a 5x5. Great inspiration for those who want to do tutorials, for example. Um, he has an amazing 16 pointed ninja star. Shout out to him for doing that. That's an insane thing. I've never seen I see one of my mates do like a four pointed ninja star, but a 16? Man, that's insane. So uh, I put a link below to his channel. And uh, hopefully he gets a shout out. If he doesn't, no problems. Right, stop rambling. It's been three minutes and I'm getting rambling. Right. Let's solve Rubik's Cube. I've chosen the green side. So let's choose the green side. What we've got to do is find all these edge pieces. So all the edge pieces consist of only two colours. So you can't get them mixed up with the corner pieces, which consist of three colours. So we have to get all the edge pieces in their correct location, creating a green cross on the top. However, you must also match up the edge piece with its corresponding center piece. So, here is a green white. Now, the green obviously indicates it goes to the top, and the white obviously indicates it matches up with the white. So, this is basically just placing it in place. Now, an easier way of doing it is this is where we want it, right? This is where the cube. So instead of what I did was moving the piece, I'll move the layer so I get the slot I want, slot it in place, and then just move it back. So you get it in place. Next is this red. Now here is the corner, 90 degrees to the white. So this is a good referencing, so you don't just accidentally do that, or accidentally go like that. We know it's 90 degrees, over here, not down the bottom. So we know that has to go there. See? Next we've got the yellow, which is on the bottom, which is a good thing, because the colour, if it matches the centerpiece like this, you could just flip it up and slot it in place. Very simple. Now if it's like this, the best way to do it is not move the, sp the face, the slot, is to move the cube. And if you've got something like this, hold it in front of you and do this simple algorithm. Front face clockwise. Middle face 
clockwise, just the middle face, and then front face clockwise, and then middle face anti-clockwise. That algorithm will be listed right here somewhere. <coughs> so that's if you have that sort of situation. Any other situation, don't worry, there's no other way of doing it. Now if I empty that out, because it just makes it easier. Know how we've now put a cross on the top of our cube. And we have matched up the center pieces of the cross on our cube. Next is to make up the corner pieces. So I'm going to show you the algorithm once, and it will come up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solve the rest of the corners. So here we have a green, red, and yellow. There's the green, that has to go on to. There's the red, there's the yellow. So this is the corner it has to go. So if you place it underneath the corner, and form this algorithm. Right face anti-clockwise, bottom face clockwise, right face clockwise, bottom face anti-clockwise. Now I'll do it again. Right face anti-clockwise, bottom face clockwise, right face clockwise, bottom face anti-clockwise. Now keep doing that and you will eventually get it in to position. All right? I'll do it again just to uh, double check in your brains. So this is the green, orange and yellow. Green, orange and yellow. This is the corner it wants to be. So place it underneath the corner. Form the same algorithm. Right face clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Right face anti-clockwise. Bottom face clockwise. Right face clockwise. Bottom face anti-clockwise. I'll do it again. Right face anti-clockwise. Bottom face clockwise. Right face clockwise. Bottom face anti-clockwise. And keep doing that until the cube eventually puts itself in its own slot. Now I'm going to teach you the shortcut. So here we have a green, red, and white. We know the green is on the bottom and we want it up here. Right. Not too much of a problem now. Huh? Tell you why. Because if I flip it and get it out of the way, I've now put it up here. Now you can perform the algorithm if you wish. But I don't wish. Because I, I could just move it away, bring down the slot, and pop it in place. Let's try it again. So here it is. Put it on the put it on the bottom layer so the green is facing you. Move it away from the slot, bring the slot down, put this in the slot, and you're in. So now you have yourself the first layer sold. And if you know, you've made a T shape, or in my case, I like to call this the Tetris shape. So we'll call this the Tetris shape. This is the Tetris shape. Shape. And uh, you have to make this, because then what you're doing is you're just filling in the edge pieces here in step two. Join me for that. I'm solving three by three rubies here.